Senior Markets Correspondent George. We're talking NVIDIA. Stock down 7.4% now, so starting to take a beating here uh, on the back of uh, some of this news. Uh, you know, do you look at this news as maybe material to the company or maybe a buying opportunity because this stock's pulled back pretty significantly? Yeah, it has. I mean, the context of the market, I think, suggests that, you know, obviously it's been moving down over the past uh, couple of weeks and it's been soft. And I think this is sort of the the big rotation or what I consider sort of a, a cash harvest or a cash grab because it's easy to sell NVIDIA, a lot of market cap, a lot of liquidity to raise cash. Obviously, the move uh, from a tactical standpoint was moving into the Russell and some of the large cap value areas. I mean, if you look at Berkshire Hathaway, just to give you an example, that stock is um, higher today by 1% is performing quite well. So nonetheless, I think uh, this may be an opportunistic, you know, pullback, but it doesn't necessarily mean the pullback is over considering, you know, some of the vast, uh, you know, uh, rate of change declines we're seeing across the board in the semiconductors. But just a few things to point out, uh, ASML, which is a large uh, semiconductor manufacturer as well. They actually guided lower. They also did this last time they reported earnings, which created a pullback uh, in the entire space. But at the same time, you know, you've got some political things going on, which again are adding to this sell-off. First off, you know, there's more talk about export restraints from the Biden administration, and that's been going on. But at the same time, you know, you've got the Trump administration talking about uh, potentially, you know, leaning on Taiwan to cover their defense expenditures, which, of course, the United States government uh, spends a lot of money defending Taiwan and Taiwan Semiconductor in that region of the world. So I think those three factors, you know, the ASML uh, guidance uh, was weak. and You add in the political con constraints, plus the already, um, you know, sort of exacerbated movement we're starting to see in these names as there's been some rotation into the smaller cap areas of the, uh, of the uh, equity ecosystem. You know, George, geopolitics entering into a trade involving the U.S. and China is never going to go away, not, not at least in, in the right. short to midterm. Nothing fundamental about this company has changed. Machine learning still expected to grow at about 19% a year through 2030. NVIDIA and, and AMD are both uh, talking about demand outstripping supply. They're, they're probably both selling everything they can make. Like I said, nothing fundamentally has changed. So is this right. just something technically that you watch, wait for your time, and reinvest in this name? I think so. I mean, I'm looking at it, you know, even from a fundamental standpoint. Obviously, NVIDIA has been an exceptional uh, move. Uh, going back to 2019, the stock is up over 3,000%. So, you know, with that said, I think if you look at the financial fundamentals going forward, and right now, based upon yesterday's close, which is inclusive of the, the big move to the downside today, is trading around 46 times 2025's earnings. Now, if you look at the estimated uh, you know, EBITDA growth, the EBITDA growth is still expected to be close to 95%. Revenue growth is expected to be essentially you know, about 70%. So, if you look at the forward multiple, it's trading at one, one less than one times, forgive me, uh, it's forward earnings growth. And at the same time, you have to look at profit margins, which are absolutely exceptional for NVIDIA at 57% net income margins. Now, there can be some encroachment there, and that could come from competition, some prices that may be a little bit subdued going forward. And there's all this talk about some of the other mega cap players, Google's and the Apple's now encroaching on the AI GPU technology space. I think those companies are just way too behind to cause any interference in, uh, in the videos. I'm going to call it a quasi-monopoly right now. AMD is starting to make inroads in the, um, in the inference chip space, but they're nowhere near NVIDIA's um, tech proudness in the GPU infrastructure. So I think this is essentially a cash grab. It doesn't necessarily mean it's over or you should just buy the dip. I think the 50 period moving average, if you look at it right now, is getting close to that around $115. So, you know, I'm not saying that's going to bounce off that area. But I do think just in the context of what's happening here from a broader market standpoint, what I did notice is you're, you're seeing value and growth. The, the IWM or the Russell and let's say Berkshire as a proxy of value had both been moving higher over the past four or five trading days. I think value will, will essentially win. And so we may end up seeing a rotation back out of the, some of the 
the movers in the past couple of weeks back into the, some of the mega cap tech names uh, as this uh, as this correction plays out. Yeah, and uh, we got to remember and putting that into context. Some of the commentary that's come out of the administration about limiting uh, the sales to China as far as chips go. Uh, that's that's come out every yeah. six months. So we've seen that. Uh, that sure. uh, show that movie before. Yeah. All right, great stuff as always. Thanks to George Telesini, markets correspondent here, breaking down uh, Nvidia for us.